What's in here? Hey guys, it's Sean. This is Devlog19. I've been receiving a few comments and suggestions regarding the looting. As of right now, after looting an object, the item will automatically be placed in the player's backpack and then have a UI appear. I was trying to think of different ways to change the looting system, so I wanted to show you guys if this is better. So now after the player finishes searching, the actual item pops out of it, and then you gotta kinda look for it and pick it up. I'm open to try new ways of the looting system, but I feel like the physical item actually popping out of the container is much better than the automatic pickup. For the main gameplay loop, I've just added a few new areas which are the military hospital, general stores and the supermarket. They're all pretty empty as of right now, but I'll add some loot locations and enemy spawn points later on. Each of course will have their own category of loot types like weapons and medical materials at the military hospital and odds and ends at the general stores. Read down the UI visuals for the player stats. Before it was just bars that move left and right to show the values. Now if you hold the tab button to view the player's stats, it's radial circles. I figured it looks a lot cleaner and takes up less space on the screen. There is of course the problem of not having the camera rotated correctly, but I'll fix that later on. Another suggestion was made by PBM to have another inventory ammo counter under the weapons ammo counter. Pretty simple but effective addition, just copy and pasted it underneath the weapons ammo counter and then linked it to the main inventory. I redone the scrap armor visuals for the player. It looks a little better and as requested by Crypto Shanks, zombies now target a specific armor type. So standing zombies will take off the armor on the player's arm before damaging the player and the crawling zombies will attack the leg armor first before damaging the player. This makes the armor feel more vital and it makes the player consider where they actually have armor. Plus I splitted the model in half of the scrap armor so when it's damaged it looks like it's broken. Previously, to change the character's appearance, there was a separate menu to change different aspects. Now I just added the UI to a wardrobe and the player can now access it whenever they want. Some of the models still conflict with each other but I'll fix that later on. For the suggestions, there was one by Wuxery to add a cleaning component to the rag to make bandages. So I added an additional item which is the cleaning product and updated the bandage recipe to cost a rag and a cleaning product. Some of you were asking for dogs in the game. City Studios do have a dog asset pack but unfortunately it's not the pack I've bought yet. It's a bit pricey but for sure I love the idea of friendly and enemy dogs. But maybe once I ship the game, I can probably add dogs as additional content. That's all for this week guys. I try to upload weekly, but sometimes I do miss the schedule. Every now and then I forget to ask you guys for suggestions, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm always open for ideas and always happy to read what you want to see in the game. And I especially love the feedback I hear from you guys, good or bad. You know, I'm always aiming to improve. So fingers crossed, I'll have this game in early access on Steam in June, and hopefully by then I'll scrape together whatever I have. I'm currently trying to get my Steam page up and running, so hopefully you guys can see that soon. Anyways, hope everyone's had a good week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to comment what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.